Laura's perfect wedding day was in full swing. The atmosphere was filled with happiness and love. She glowed in her beautiful dress, ready to walk down the aisle to her waiting groom, Tom. But the mood shifted dramatically when Margaret, her stern mother-in-law, suddenly intervened. Her face was cold as she declared, You can't come in. You don't belong here. The joyful ambience turned tense as guests whispered and exchanged uncertain glances. That's when her husband-to-be, Tom, did something Laura would never forget. His inaction spoke louder than any words ever could. As Tom remained silent and unmoving, tears started to form in Laura's eyes. This couldn't be happening, could it? She had always thought to be on good terms with her mother-in-law. However, this moment showed that she might have been a poor judge of the situation. Feeling everyone's eyes on her and without Tom's help, she turned around and hastily walked out of the room. She couldn't stay there being scrutinized by everyone for the words that that woman had said to her. She needed some time to think. This might completely change her mind on what would have been her marriage to Tom. A million questions were dancing through her mind, so many that they started to make her feel dizzy. Too much confusion had started to arise, and she needed to clarify when she calmed down. Why hadn't Tom intervened? Why had Margaret said such an awful thing? And most importantly, after all this, would there still be a wedding? Laura had happily been preparing with her best friends for her big day. The room in which they were getting ready was filled with laughter as they finalized their final touch-ups. Laura was brimming with anticipation as the moment for her to walk down the aisle was nearly there. She had no idea that it would turn out to be such a large mess. Tom was already standing at the altar alongside his groomsmen. He was sharing some light-hearted banter, trying to speed up the time. He couldn't wait to see his fiance walk down the aisle towards him. He would occasionally steal glances at the door from which she would emerge. He was hoping he could catch a glimpse of Laura. Laura and Tom meticulously planned every aspect of their wedding, hoping to create unforgettable memories. However, as guests mingled and took their seats, Laura still pondered how to prevent unexpected disruptions. Margaret, Tom's mother, stood near the entrance, dressed elegantly, but with a nervous demeanor. Tom observed her distant gaze, unaware of her true intentions. Laura envisioned a beautiful entrance, but her path was obstructed by Margaret. Despite Laura's polite refusal of her offer to walk her down the aisle, Margaret insisted, declaring, You can't come in. You don't belong here, shocking Laura and the guests. As murmurs spread, Laura sought support from Tom, but he seemed to avoid her gaze, adding to her confusion and distress. Feeling utterly alone and anxious, tears filled Laura's eyes as Margaret declared, You cannot marry my son! Shocking Laura. With Tom remaining silent, Laura felt abandoned and ran away, seeking a moment alone to gather herself. Tom, rooted in confusion and hurt, watched Laura flee, unsure of what to do next. Pushed by his best man, Tom confronted his mother, only to be met with evasion as she walked away. Tom, bewildered by his mother's actions, sought answers from his friends, but none could explain Margaret's behavior. As friends speculated, suggesting reasons for Margaret's outburst, Tom struggled to make sense of the situation. Tom expressed regret for not being there for Laura and acknowledged her likely feelings of being lost. His friends empathized with his situation and encouraged him to prioritize finding and comforting Laura. Tom, determined to make things right, decided to seek out Laura immediately. In a quiet corner, Laura sought solace amidst the chaos of her emotions, contemplating the events that had unfolded. Supported by her bridesmaids, Laura grappled with doubts about continuing with the wedding in light of the hostility from Tom's family. She weighed the options of confronting Margaret or walking away, torn between love for Tom and fear of what the future held. Despite the confusion, Laura was resolute in her need for answers and understanding, hoping to mend the sudden ruptures in her life. Interrupting her thoughts, James, a family friend, approached with concern and determination. Laura, I might have insight into what's happening, James began cautiously, catching Laura's attention with curiosity. In the tense atmosphere, James seemed like a beacon of hope, ready to shed light on the situation. He shared snippets of overheard family conversations, 
hinting at past grievances and unresolved conflicts. James suggested that Margaret's actions could be tied to old traditions or lingering wounds within the family. Laura felt a mix of gratitude for James's insights and apprehension about what it meant for her and Tom's future. James reassured Laura that she wasn't alone and they had support to uncover the truth and navigate the situation. Amidst the Grand Estates corridors, Tom finally found Laura, both seeking solace in each other's presence amidst the chaos. Their silent communication conveyed their mutual pain and need for each other as they embraced tightly, finding solace in their shared connection. After a moment, they separated, reaffirming their commitment to each other and readiness to face the challenges together. Seeking answers, the couple resolved to confront Margaret directly, recognizing the necessity of addressing the situation head on. They decided to confront Margaret immediately, hoping for closure through a face-to-face -face conversation. As they prepared, Tom reassured Laura of their enduring commitment to each other, deeply touching her with his sincerity. They affirmed their joint commitment, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. In the ornate sitting room of the estate, chairs had been rearranged for the family elders, setting the stage for a crucial discussion. Tom and Laura, holding hands, stood at the entrance, prepared to delve into the past to understand Margaret's behavior. The tension in the room was palpable, with everyone eager for answers. As Tom began to speak, all eyes turned to him, signaling a collective desire for clarity. Amidst shared memories and family anecdotes, a pattern emerged, revealing a history of protective actions sometimes misconstrued as controlling behavior. Laura and Tom realized that Margaret's actions might stem from a desire to safeguard family interests rather than malice. Grandmother Eleanor and cousin Patrick shared insights into the family's dynamics and past incidents, shedding light on the situation. Their discussion illuminated how emotions and tradition could influence family events, offering valuable context to Margaret's behavior. Aunt Clara, with her silver hair glinting in the dim light, recounted her urge to shield her daughter Eliza from the world, driven by maternal instinct passed down through generations. Her story resonated with other matriarchs, revealing how weddings often became arenas for familial disputes, fueled by old grievances and generational clashes. Grandfather Joseph hinted at a connection between Margaret's past actions and her recent outburst, leaving the tale unfinished, shrouded in mystery. Reflecting on the family stories, Tom and Laura understood the importance of breaking the cycle of discord. They searched every corner of the Grand Hall for Margaret, but she seemed to have vanished, adding another layer to the unfolding drama. Laura's frustration grew as Margaret's evasion prolonged the tension, with guests whispering about her sudden disappearance. Tom's resolve strengthened as he comforted Laura, promising to seek answers until they resolved the situation. As the evening wore on, Margaret's elusive nature turned the search into a perplexing game of shadows in the vast mansion. Every time Tom and Laura felt close, they encountered empty rooms or mistaken identities, but their determination to uncover the truth remained steadfast. Driven by his love for Laura and a desire to restore harmony, Tom searched every corner of the venue, fueled by memories of their shared moments. Finally locating Margaret in a secluded alcove, Tom initiated a confrontation, demanding clarity and understanding. As Tom pleaded for answers, he noticed a softness in Margaret's eyes, revealing a deep conflict within her. In a charged silence, Tom urged Margaret to explain her actions for the sake of their family's future. Margaret, hesitating, eventually confessed her fears and struggles, tearfully expressing her dread of being sidelined in Tom's life after his marriage. Her words painted a poignant picture of a mother grappling with loneliness and the fear of losing her place in her son's life. From her concealed corner, Laura absorbed Margaret's heartfelt revelations, her emotions fluctuating between sympathy and anger at the secrecy and manipulation that tainted the occasion. Summoning her strength, Laura stepped forward, addressing Margaret with compassion and a sincere desire to heal their rift. As they spoke, misunderstandings peeled away, revealing a shared vulnerability and a path toward reconciliation. Locking eyes, Laura and Margaret embraced, symbolizing acceptance and a commitment to overcome their past. With understanding prevailing, the wedding festivities resumed, filled with laughter and celebration. 
Tom and Laura exchanged vows, emphasizing unity and resilience, signaling their unwavering commitment to each other and their family. As they took their first steps together, applause filled the hall, marking not just a wedding, but the beginning of a new chapter of healing and unity. Amidst the opulence and celebration, Laura's perfect wedding day took an unexpected turn when her mother-in-law, Margaret, intervened with a shocking declaration. The joyous atmosphere turned tense as Tom, Laura's groom, remained silent in the face of conflict, leaving Laura feeling utterly alone and questioning the foundation of their relationship. As Laura grappled with confusion and hurt, Tom embarked on a quest for answers, seeking insight from family elders and confidants. Through tales of familial history and unresolved conflicts, a pattern emerged, shedding light on Margaret's actions and the complexities of familial dynamics. With courage and determination, Tom and Laura confronted Margaret, unveiling layers of pain and misunderstanding. In a poignant moment of vulnerability, they extended forgiveness and embraced reconciliation, bridging the divide that had threatened to overshadow their union. As the wedding festivities resumed, infused with a renewed spirit of unity and understanding, Tom and Laura exchanged vows that carried profound significance. Their commitment to each other was not just a pledge of love, but a testament to their shared journey of healing and growth. With hearts full of hope and gratitude, they embarked on a new chapter, strengthened by the bonds forged through adversity and fueled by the transformative power of love. As they took their first steps together, surrounded by the embrace of family and friends, they knew that their union was not just a celebration of love, but a triumph of resilience and unity. If this story touched you as much as it did us, you should watch this video. Dad meets son's bride at altar, ruins their wedding after looking closer. Click here to get the full story.